here at home, a flash mob mobilized outside a Rocky River home this afternoon because of a huge Trump display on someone's front lawn. The display has sparked a debate over freedom of speech in our divided times. Danielle Serino spoke with the homeowner and protesters on both sides of the issue. Danielle? Hi, Lena. There were about 40 people in all. Their ages ranged from the 20s all the way to the 70s, and they were evenly split between Biden and Trump supporters. There were even some people carrying Black Lives Matter signs. And while there were some, how shall I say, biting comments being made, overall, this was very peaceful. But this is the display causing the uproar on Lake Road and Rocky River a giant likeness of the Texaco gas man on a flatbed trunk wearing a Make America Great Again hat, holding a Trump Pence flag with a large Trump 2020 sign next to him. That, though, is not what got people so riled up. Part of it is because of the scene right beside it, a likeness of Hillary Clinton behind bars in prison stripes. We are avid Trump supporters. We support all lives, and uh, my husband likes to put up big things. If you see our house at Christmas time, we have a big Christmas tree, so why not put up a big Texaco guy and support our president? I am against this obnoxious display of wealth and entitlement. And while it wasn't on display Sunday, we were given this photo from days before. There was also a likeness of presidential candidate Joe Biden near a toilet bowl with the sign, Deposit Biden Votes Here. While federal law protects the rights of people to put political signs in their yards, local municipalities can decide where, how big, and the shape they are. Now, regarding that toilet that was removed, all we can tell you is we were told it was not mandated by the city. Tonight at 11 on What's Next, we speak to a legal professor on what's going on with these political signs and speak to an east side homeowner who says his pro-Biden signs are being repeatedly vandalized. That's coming up tonight. I'm Danielle Serino, 3 News.